Hi everyone. Today I would like to try out a new recipe called 7-Up Cobbler or it's also called Sprite Cobbler. It's a recipe that I found on Pinterest and it's very simple so I thought I would try it today. Today is Ostara and so I'd like to have it for dessert. So let's give it a try. So here are the ingredients. Very simple recipe. It calls for two bags of mixed berries, one box of white cake mix, and a can of Sierra Mist. Okay, first we take a 9 by 13 baking dish like this, and then we take our berries, two bags. You can use mixed berries, you can use strawberries, blueberries whatever kind you'd like. I have the mixed triple berry which is um, blackberries, raspberries, and blueberries. You take the berries, you empty them into your dish, take the second bag, open it, and empty that into your dish. Now keep in mind I've never done this recipe before and so this is going to be an experiment for both of us. Okay, so I got the berries in the dish, Just evenly distribute them. Okay, next you take your box of cake mix, white cake mix. I use the Duncan Hines Classic Vanilla. Okay, so let me open this. Okay, once you have your cake mix open, you want to take the entire box and then just evenly sprinkle the cake mix over top of your berries. Just get it as evenly as you can. Now I hope this comes out right. Like I said, I've never tried this um, recipe before, so you can't try everything that you see on Pinterest, but this one only called for like three or four ingredients, so I was like, okay, let's go for it. Let's just hope this doesn't turn into an epic fail. Okay, the cake mix is on. One second. Let's just spread this evenly on here. Okay, and the next thing that it calls for is um, to pour 12 ounces of Sprite or 7-Up. I am using Sierra Mist, which I guess they just mean any kind of lemon lime soda, so I'm taking that to be I can use Sierra Mist. And um, we only need one can of that, which is 12 ounces, which is um, one and a half cups. So I'm going to pour one and a half cups into my measuring cup here. Okay, now this looks like a big dish. I'm not sure if I'm going to need more soda than this, but we'll see. So here's my 12 ounces of Sierra Mist. Now according to the article I saw on Pinterest, if you pour the soda on the cake mix and berry mixture, it's supposed to foam up. So let's see if that happens here. Here we go. It's foaming. I hear it and I see it. Okay. I don't know if you can see that too well, but it did foam. Looks 
So let's get a better picture of this for you. See, it's foaming. So it says once it foams, you take this and you put this in the oven at 350 for about 50 to 60 minutes, depending on your oven. So I'll do that and we'll come back and we'll see how it turned out. Okay, so it's been about 50 minutes. So let's check on the cobbler and see how it looks. Oh, it smells so good. If you could just smell this cobbler. It looks like it's almost done. Um, it could probably stand to be a little bit darker brown on top. But yeah, it, it's almost ready. So let's give it about 10 more minutes in the oven and then we'll check it again. Okay, so we're out of the oven and here's how it turned out. It browned on top, but I see there's some powdery cake mix still on top. And I would just say to remedy that, just add a little bit more of the soda. But it looks delicious and it smells even better. So after we've um, cut into this, I'll let you know how it tastes and I'll leave that in the description. So thanks for watching and I hope every one of you has a very blessed Ostara. Until next time, thank you.